And what ended up happening was I had gone to a, a workshop down in Nashville, Tennessee, and I had uh, been in there at a very small group, and this <coughs> doctor was there, and she uh, had heard my story because I had written it out, and she said, hey, um, I think I know what's going on with you. I'm like, I've been to 14 different doctors, and here's number 15. I'm not sure you're going to be able to help me. And she says, she looks at me real inquisitively. She looks at my ears. She asks me to stick out my tongue. She looks at my neck. She asked me the size of my neck. I'm like, what is she doing? <laughs> and uh, she says, oh, you have sleep apnea. I'm like, sleep apnea? That's what? sleep apnea. Oh, sleep so apnea is for apnea. An old guys. I don't have <laughs> sleep apnea. She's like, no, I'm telling you, you do. I'm like, How? she goes, has your wife ever told you you stop breathing in the middle of the night? I'm like, well, she's told me that. But I just respond like I'm trying to be quiet and, and respectful. Yes. And... Um, and she says, no, you, you have sleep apnea. You go home and get tested back to San Diego. And sure enough, May of 2023, I get tested. And um, they told me that one night for the six hours and 10 minutes I had slept, that I had stopped breathing 120 times that night. Wow. For 20 to 52 seconds. Took you all that time to find out. 20 to 52 seconds <laughs> per episode. Wow. I'm like, wait, I stopped breathing for 120 times? For 20 to 52 seconds? I said, how's that possible? He said, because you have sleep apnea and you've had it for years. So all the fighting you're doing, all of the save the world stuff you're doing, all of the everything you're doing, the reason why you wake up and you think to yourself, oh man, uh, I, I can't wait to go back to bed. Because for the first time in my life, the last couple of years previously, I was like, I'm exhausted. What time can I go back to sleep tonight? Mm. But I would do what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Get up, work out, yeah. have some caffeine, suck it up and go. Mm. But I'm spiraling down mm -hmm. further and further and mm -hmm. further. And what happens is when he diagnosed me with that, I'm like, thank God I have an answer to why I feel like I do. Right. 